So when you first get your violin, we have to mark this part here, which is called the bridge. Now we need four colours. We need blue, orange, pink, yellow, and we need a pencil or a ballpoint pen. And we need to either draw the, uh, write the letters of the strings under the strings, or we need to flip out the bridge and mark them. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I find this is easier overall for the clarity of the bridge. So what we're going to do is loosen each of the pegs. So this is what the strings sound like first, but I'm going to loosen each peg about half a turn. So the strings don't make a sound and just flip the bridge out. Okay, so the names of the strings from left to right are G, D, A, and E. I like to say g'day. <laughs> and we mark the strings blue for G. orange for D, pink for A, and yellow for E. And at any point, if you need, you can obviously go over those, uh, that writing again with a ballpoint pen or pencil. So now you've mark you, marked your bridge. We have to pop it back under the strings and you're just going to make it stand up, pop each of the strings in each of the grooves of the bridge and you want the feet of the bridge so the middle of the F holes are in line with the middle of the feet. So you might need to look side on and just check that that is the case. So your strings will be quite loose still and we just want to position the bridge evenly so the feet are in line with the divots of the F holes and so the bridge is even on both sides of the fingerboard. So now we've put our bridge in place with our uh, strings facing us as the player and we can hear that there is no sound to the strings. They're nice and floppy. So we need to start our tuning process. So I want you to touch the uh, tuning fork on your app and we're going to start with the thickest string, G, up to the highest string, E. So we're going to start with the bottom peg, which is connected to the G string, and we're going to turn it upwards and twist it at a diagonal angle into the peg box as we pluck the G string with our thumb and we just want to turn it till it makes a sound and holds. If it starts slipping, just uh, push it in further, it will end up holding. Now we're going to do the D string just till it makes a sound, then the A string just till it makes a sound and E. Always try to go a bit slower with the E string because it's obviously quite thin and we don't want it to snap. Have a look at your bridge. Make sure that the uh, little B stings in the F holes are in line with the middle of the foot of the bridge. And also as we keep tuning, as we keep tightening the strings, they're going to keep pulling the bridge upwards. So we need to keep adjusting the bridge to make sure that this back end is at a 90 degree angle. So. Let's keep going. So starting with the G string again, keep going, turning upwards. And on our app, we want it to get to the number four next to the letter. Okay, we're at number four. It's not a, it doesn't show D, but it's a number four, so that's good. This D string, we want to get to a number three. So turn. Okay, we're at a number three. A string, get to a number three. Oh, four, sorry. No, three. No, four, I'm going crazy. <laughs> so three, four, four, and then E string will be five. Okay, 
so we're getting there. Let's go with the G string again. This should be a number three. And this time we're aiming for the note G. Okay, so that's settling. D, we need number three and turn it so it gets to a D3. Oh, D4, sorry. D4. A, this should be A4. A flat's pretty close. And then E, this will be E5. E flat's pretty close. Okie dokie. So, keeping on going, check the G. It's an F sharp, which is pretty close to a G. It's the note just below G. So now we're going to use our fine tuners and we're going to turn upwards. And we want to make sure that our needle of our tuner is also going up towards the green light. Now D is showing as a C, so we might need to go up a little bit with our peg. It's showing as D4, but we need to turn our fine tuner to the right so it gets to the green. Pretty good. A string is showing as a G, but we need A, so give it another little turn at the peg. And we need to now turn the fine tuner to the right so it hits the green on your tuner. Pretty close. And then E string is showing as a D, so we need E, so give the peg a little turn. And it's very easy to overdo this one. Oh, I did pretty well today, that's good. And turning the fine tuner to the right to make sure that the needle reaches the green. So again, G, it's showing as an F sharp, so just a little turn up to G. And I'm going to go downwards with my fine tuner now so it reaches the green. My tuner's a bit sensitive today. Pretty close. D is showing as a C sharp, so turn it up a bit to get to a D. And we can see it's a bit high, so we need to turn the fine tuner to the left. Then the A string is showing as an A flat. We need to go a bit higher with our peg, but I've gone too high. So let's bring it down with our fine tuner and our E string is showing as an E. So I just need to heighten turning right. Okay. Let's hope this is it, G. It's pretty close. It's a bit sensitive today on that string. D, bit to the right. A, and E. There we go. Now that you've tuned your instrument once properly, it should more or less hold in tune if you've had a correct setup applied to your instrument. Make sure that your back of your bridge is 90 degrees to your belly of the instrument. And you'll also see that maybe this front side of the bridge is a bit curved it looks a little bit curved upwards. That is normal because the way the bridge is carved, 
it uh, is carved so it gets thinner towards the top and it curves upwards. So that's totally normal, but we just want to make sure that this is 90 degrees. And there's your violin ready to play. So that was a little bit of a lengthy process as you can see, but once you've done it once, it should more or less hold in tune and hopefully you should only need to um, use the pegs just for the first tune, but then you can just use the fine tuners going forward. Thank you, good luck. So now that we have refit the bridge, we need to start tuning the strings. So we've stood the bridge up, but the strings are quite loose. So I want you to press the tuning fork button on your app. And we are going to start from the lowest string up to the highest string or the thickest string up to the thinnest string. So we're going to just pluck and turn the peg that that string is connected to. So this is the G string peg, and you're just going to push and twist upwards towards the top of the violin just till it makes a sound. Then the next peg up for the D string just till it makes a sound. The A string and then the E string. So it sounds lovely. Now we need to make sure that the bridge feet are flat against the belly and make sure that the divots of the F holes are running in line with the feet. We also want to make sure that this back end of the bridge is 90 degrees with the belly. So keep going and on your app, we want to make sure that the G string reaches G4. So keep turning till you get to G4. It's F sharp, which is pretty close, so that's okay. We'll come back to that one. Let's try with the D string. This needs to reach D three. 